Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, and welcome back to another Time Pieces for Tomorrow episode. And within this video, I'm going to talk about AR coating, anti-reflective coating. Now, both of these time pieces in front of me here, uh, these have AR coating, anti-reflective coating. So um, it's one of those things people preference or they completely dislike. And, and I'm going to talk about the reasons why within this video. So you can see right here, this is a Super Ocean Heritage 2 Brightling. And looking at the Sapphire that does have anti-reflective coating, AR coating applied, you can see at least with the naked eye and this 4K camera, crank up the resolution by the way, if you have a compatible 4K display, but you can see there's no visible scratches. And I mean, I swim with this thing, I, I bashed it into walls by mistake and I've, uh, you know, taking a bath with it, taking a shower with it, everything. So this one's pretty pristine, even though it's been heavily worn. Uh, now looking at the Super Avenger, uh, this one I've had for a long time, and it's, it's uh, you know, it's been abused. I've run into walls. I've taken it. Now this, admittedly, I learned my lesson because this piece does not have screw down, uh, screw down pushers, and we'll talk about that in a separate video. But I don't really swim with this one that much, but I have worn it extensively since 2009. Now with it, if you really look closely, you can see some blemishes in the, uh, that's a fingerprint right there, but you can see some blemishes in the AR coating, the anti-reflective coating. Now you've got to really be looking closely. You know, it's not going to be something that's going to be in your face. You know, if you're, if you're concerned about this, don't think that AR coating anti-reflective coating is anything in the same league as Hesalite crystal. Now that stuff really real scratch, but you know, think of AR coating, anti-reflective coating. See, look there in the center. You can see where you got the light reflection towards the uh, nine o'clock position. You'll see some subtle scratches. See, see, there they are. If you've got 4k, crank it up again, very subtle, seldom noticed, and it has a lot to do with the lighting and you know, really how good your eyesight is. But AR coating, anti-reflective coating should not be a deal breaker. But it is worth mentioning on pieces that I have that just have standard sapphire crystal without an AR coating, I don't have any visible blemishes on them. So, you know, the anti-reflective coating is going to do what it's supposed to do, and that's reduce the reflection. So to a lot of people, that's a desirable, uh, desirable characteristic. It looks really nice. Again, if you're worried about the scratches, I mean, even if you wear these watches like they're meant to be worn, you're probably not really going to... If anybody notices the blemishes within the AR crystal, the anti-reflective crystal, it's probably going to be yourself because you're probably... You know, it's like anything else you get. You're, you're probably paranoid every time there's a scratch. You know, every time you bang it into a wall or, or uh, you know, rub it against something or whatever... You know, you're probably in your mind, you're like, oh man, did I scratch it? Did I scratch my AR coating, my anti-reflective coating? So it's a matter of how paranoid about scratches you are. I, I bang the heck out of my watches. I don't care. You know, they're tool watches. They're meant to be worn. But if you do care, again, don't falsely assume that AR coating, anti-reflective coating, is anything like a Hesalite crystal. No, this is just a treatment on top of sapphire. So you know, it may show a few subtle blemishes, but you're really going to have to look. And I mean, as you can see here, and again, I wear my watches a lot. And you know, they're banged to heck and back. Look at that. Look at those lugs. Look at that. Those are battle scars, man. But yeah, don't worry about it. Tell me what you think within the comment section below. Do you prefer a timepiece that has AR coating? Or do you prefer a timepiece that does not have AR coating? Tell me what you think. And be sure to subscribe, youtube.com forward slash irixguy. And check out timepiecesfortomorrow.com to find all of my other wristwatch videos too. And if you have any questions, just ask because I'm always trying to come up with new uh, video ideas. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash irixguy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.